Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it might be really fun to do some DIY wall art since I moved home after I graduated college. I'm gonna be here for a little while just to save up, work a little bit, and then move out. And while I'm home, I've tried to design my room in a way that inspires me, makes me feel good, and is just overall my aesthetic because when I got home, it looked just like when I left back in high school and that is no longer my vibe. So today I'm gonna create some custom Monica Helmer pieces for the walls in my room. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off this project, you're gonna need some frames. I went to the dollar store and picked these up. So the total cost ends up being however many frames you buy. In addition to the frames, I also have a bunch of scraps from my previous DIYs. I also found this mirror somewhere, which I don't know where it came from, but I'm probably gonna use that. I have some silver crystal, some gold crystal, gold spray paint, black spray paint, a bunch of different individual crystals like these, and I also have some E6000 glue right here, as well as a Louis Vuitton stencil that I used in my pancake video, and some marble contact paper that I used in my suitcase DIY. Oh, also some acetone, because on one of the picture frames, I think I wanna get rid of the writing that's on it. So yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna be using. Also, I will try to link down below as best I can whatever I end up using for this project. So go ahead and check the description box if you guys are interested in any of these supplies. So I have a lot of ideas for this already. One of them being cutting out the shape of California in these crystals and then putting it in a frame. So either I will cut them out and glue them to this mirror and then maybe put them in this black frame with the silver lining or I will use some acetone and get rid of the word dream and then maybe just glue the crystals right onto this glass here so it's just a see-through piece of art. Something else that I was interested in trying out is taking the Louis Vuitton stencil and possibly spray painting onto the mirror and putting it in a black frame. In addition to that, I love designer decor, so I might end up taking some of this gold crystal as well and cutting out a little Chanel design and putting that in a frame too. So I really have no idea what I'm about to do, but I will show you guys piece by piece what I decide on. So what I'm going to start by doing is taking this frame, flipping it upside down, and taking the acetone, and then just getting rid of the word dream. Next, I've googled an outline of California. I like this one, so I'm going to put that in a word doc and make sure that it's 5 inches wide and 6 inches down because I measured out to my crystals and the frame, and that's the size that I want. So yeah, I'll go print that out, and then we'll cut it out of the crystals. So here's the printed version of the California outline and I'm gonna place the crystals on top and it looks like it is literally the perfect size. So what I'm gonna do is cut out the outline and then trace it onto the back of these crystals and then cut it out of the crystals. Alright, so to finish off this project, all I'm going to be doing is gluing this to the glass right here. Alternatively, you could also get another exact frame and piece of glass if you'd like and pop the glass out of the other one, glue this to that sheet of glass, and then glue this and the new piece of glass underneath this one so that it has some sort of barrier or some sort of protection. But I'm a little bit too lazy, so I'm just going to glue this one on here and call it a day. So yeah, that's basically the first piece. So for this next one, I think what I'm going to do is take off all of the packaging, take out the photo and everything, and just leave the glass, and then spray paint the Louis Vuitton onto the glass. So basically, it would look just like this, but with black Louis Vuittons everywhere. So I'm outside now, and what I've done is I've taped the glass to the stencil, and if you flip it over, the stencil is going to be backwards so that it looks right side up when you flip it around. Also, it's already black a little bit because I did a test spray just to get the can started, and so now it's taped onto here, and we're just going to spray away. So once you spray paint it and it dries, I've removed the stencil, and I already put it in the frame, and this is what it looks like. So unfortunately, while I was spray painting it, the wind was blowing pretty hard. So I assume that some of the paint got under the stencil. And that's why these ones are so blurry looking. Up here though, you can see they came out really clear. So a simple solution for this is just to take some acetone, wash it all off, and then just do it again. But I kind of like it. I don't know why it had something a little bit unique to it. And also, I'm just lazy as all heck. 
so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and if you guys want a perfect version then just do it way better than I did also quick side note I plan on leaving this piece as is but if you guys have something like that mirror that I showed you earlier you could totally put it right on the back and just glue the mirror to the frame like that I love the way that looks but since I only have one mirror and I have another idea for that mirror I'm gonna leave this as is with nothing behind it so for this next project I'm gonna be taking this frame and the marble contact paper and basically just rolling it out onto the cardboard that's underneath so here's the cardboard and I'm going to take the contact paper and cut it out to the shape of the cardboard. So I cut off a chunk of the contact paper and now what I'm going to do is flip it upside down and place the cardboard on top. Then I'm going to trace out the shape of the cardboard and cut it out of the paper and then peel down these edges and stick it onto the cardboard. So now I'm going to cut off the excess here on the edge and then pop it into the frame. And that's all there is to it. Alright, so for this next piece, what I think I want to do is a Chanel inspired one and I think I'm going to take some sort of logo design online, cut it out, and then just spray paint it and put it in here. And I think I want to do that dripping sort of Chanel logo, so I googled dripping Chanel and I found a picture that I like. I'm going to take this one, put it in a Word doc just like the last one that we did, print it out, and I'm going to use that gold spray paint that I have and just spray paint it and then put it on. While I was looking through Chanel designs though I also came across this one which I think is really interesting and also very easy to do actually all you would really need is a frame a mirror and then you could take some black cardstock paper and print out a logo of Chanel on some other normal white paper cut it out trace it onto the black paper and then cut out the Chanel design on the black paper so that it's see-through and then you could take a mirror just like this one put the black paper on top and then you'd have a mirrored Chanel cut out of the black then to do all the detailing on it you would just need some crystals and some chains to drape around all I have are these really small clear ones right now so I would need a variety of sizes and then I have this crystal chain as well that you could just drape wherever you want to put it so that would actually be a pretty fun one to do but I kind of want my Chanel to be gold and also this is a bit extravagant a bit much for me at the moment plus I don't have all the materials for it but I just wanted to run through how to do one like that just in case you guys were interested so mine's gonna be a lot simpler um, and yeah, with that, let's just do it. All right, so I've taken the image and saved it to my desktop and I put it in a Google Doc and I've measured it six inches across and however many that goes down, but I think it should fit. So yeah, I'm just gonna print it out and then cut it out. Okay, so now that that is cut out, I'm gonna take this outside and spray paint it gold. And then I'm gonna take a piece of plain paper and spray paint it black. And then we're gonna put the Chanel logo on top of the black paper and stick it in the frame. Okay, so this paper still has to dry a little bit more. You can see it's still a bit shiny and it's supposed to be a nice matte black. But once it's dry, we're gonna cut it up to the size of this frame. You can see that it's a little bit bigger than it. And then we're gonna take the Chanel, glue it on with a glue stick and put it in the frame. And that is all there is to it. So for the last piece, I really want to do something Swarovski inspired because I love Swarovski crystals and I love the swan design. So I was looking through these images and I found this one right here, which is basically just a crystal skull on a black background in a silver frame. And that gave me the idea to do a crystal swan on a black background in a silver frame. So that is what we're gonna do. So since I don't have a silver frame, I'm gonna be using this black and silver one. And what I'm gonna do is put the mirror in it. And then I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard, spray paint it black, and I'm gonna print out an image of the Swarovski swan and I'm gonna trace it onto the back of this cardboard, cut it out, and then glue the cardboard onto the mirror so that there is a mirror swan in there. And then I'm gonna be taking whatever crystal scraps I have left and just creating the swan. So let's get started.
Okay, so now that this is all black, I'm gonna slide the mirror underneath just to give you guys an idea of what it's gonna look like. So this is how the cardboard is gonna sit on it. And what I'm gonna do now is map out my design with this spare sheet of crystals. I'm gonna put the crystals underneath the cardboard and then place them where I want them. So looking at this one, we can see that the density of crystals decreases right about here and it starts to spread out a bit more. So I think that's exactly how I'm gonna lay these right about here and then I'm just gonna cluster a few of those single crystals together, these ones, and then I'm just gonna spread them out. Also, in order to get this gradient effect of the dark underneath, I'm gonna take this spray paint and I'm gonna create a little bit of black on this part of the mirror. So it got a little smudged on the edges, but that doesn't really matter because once this is on, you can see it creates a beautiful gradient that the crystals can go across. So now that that is done, what I'm gonna do is officially glue on these crystals underneath the swan onto the mirror. And then I'll continue by putting on the individuals. So I'm outside right now just because of the fumes, but as you can see, what I've been doing is clustering the crystals here and slowly starting to disperse them right up here. So I'm back inside now and this is almost the finished product. I think I wanna add a few more crystals up here just to blend the sheet with the singles. And other than that, I'm pretty happy with this gradient effect right here. So now I'm gonna take the cardboard and place it on top just to see what we're working with. So this right here is basically what it'll look like when I glue it all together. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a few more crystals, glue this on, and pop it in the frame, and I'll show you guys the final product. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so this one needs a drum roll. And here she is. Oh my god. Would you look at that? I am in love. Well, anyway, so this is the last piece that I'm gonna make today. So without further ado, let's start the montage. that is the final product i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more also if you want to see more of me you can follow me on instagram at annika underscore helmer anyway that is all i have for you guys today so i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in the next one bye guys